Hey guys, what's growing? It's Heather at Bush Poppy Farm. Trying to take a little bit of time in between pop-up thunderstorms to get a little bit of garden work done. I got all of my Tuesday deliveries done earlier today because it was a shorter list. Same with tomorrow, thank goodness. So what I'm gonna do now is get a trellis together for this um, container over here. This jasmine has been on here for a couple of years and it's way overgrown its little teepee that it came with from the nursery. So let's get started on this project. This container is by my front door. It never moves from here. Uh, it's in 100% shade all the time. I mean, it doesn't get any sun. So I chose things that can tolerate that type of behavior. <laughs> this is a fern and it's got brand new, beautiful, soft, fronds unfurling here. We have a heuchera here. I don't even remember what the variety is. And it's also beginning to flower. Oh my goodness. It's also totally covered in aphids. I'm not going to worry about that because the ladybugs will show up and take care of it. And then this is a jasmine pink showers. So uh, it's a star jasmine. So I'm going to put this pretty trellis that I got, I got a set of these, it came, it came in two. Um, so I'm gonna put, use one as a bean trellis, because right now I don't have a bean trellis to climb, for the beans to climb on, since the pea trellis is occupied with peas. <laughs> and uh, this other one I'm gonna use right here, because this is like just overgrown and desperately needs it. So um, I think it's gonna involve some cutting, some twisting, and maybe some pruning, but I'm gonna try to get this thing attached to this trellis. That is so much better. Oh my goodness. It just doesn't look as messy and disgusting as it did before. I do need to water it. I mean, the funny thing is we got almost a half an inch of rain last night in surprise storms, but uh, this is under shelter. Never gets any water unless I water it. So I'm going to do that right now. Then we're gonna use the other one to plant up the beans. So here we are in the, what's right now, the onion bed. <laughs> And they're, they're starting to bulb up, so that's good, finally. God, I planted these in the, the fall. They take forever. Um, so over here, I have bush beans. These are um, an heirloom soup mix, and then also a Blue Lake bush, which is very productive. So on this trellis, which is probably hard to see, uh, but it's super pretty. I really like these, and they're solid metal. I got them really cheap on Amazon. What I'm gonna put on here is a Chinese red noodle long bean and a scarlet emperor whole bean so um i thought that i had some seedlings of these already but i think i sold them <laughs> so i'm just gonna direct sow and they'll be totally fine they'll come up i'm not gonna put a ton here because as you know uh they get pretty prolific so i'm gonna put two um two plants for long beans here and two for um, the Scarlet Emperor. And I'm putting two beans in each hole uh, and I can take out the, the less aggressive um, seedling <laughs> once they both germinate. Especially because uh, these beans Scarlet Emperor ones, they're huge. So I will also, um, once the peas are done, and we're only, I mean, they haven't, they won't start producing for another couple weeks. Once the peas are done, I'll plant more beans on the pea trellis, but that's gonna be a while. So the next job I wanna try to squeeze in, and it's probably gonna rain on me, so I don't know that I'll film it because I think the camera will get wet and I won't be able to get here in time, is to clean up our 
uh, right of way here and trim these bushes. So you'll see this is the, you know, the road in front of our house. Um, there's all kinds of horrible thistles, etc. in here. I need to take the string trimmer to those and then I need to use the, um, the trimmers and trim this long hedge uh, so that it looks more tidy. Part of this is in advance of our June 15th uh, date requirement by the city to have our home um, ready for fire season. Um, so I have some trees we need to limb up. Um, we need to cut back vegetation from the roadway. Um, all of the wild blackberries that we have in the creek bed are starting to grow into the road. Those all need to get cut back. Um, so I'm just going to start um, on some of this and we'll just kind of over the next week or so try to get all this stuff done um, so that we are ready for fire season. Now ultimately what they would really like is for us to not have uh, any plantings within 10 feet of the house. However, um, pretty much everybody around here, the, uh, you know, does have that. This law was put into effect much more recently than people have planted their landscapes. So um, they have asked though, for people who have highly flammable things right next to the house, they have said, you need to remove those. We have azaleas and camellias and two Japanese maples. Those are obviously anything will burn, but those are not highly flammable. They don't have essential oils in them. Like rosemary is a no, no next to the house. Um, so, um, for now, it hasn't been an issue. They haven't told us, and they inspect. Uh, they haven't come out and told us that we need to remove that stuff. And so eventually we probably will. And at that point, we'll just redo the whole front walk so that we can have it look nice and not just have an empty bed there. Okay, I'm gonna get started on this because uh, the clouds are rolling in again and uh, I'm probably gonna get rained on. So uh, I'm not gonna film the process just because, you know, Again, there's also no safe place to set up the camera because it's on the roadway. Um, so I will show you the after once I'm finished. I got about three quarters of the way done and it started raining. Um, and it's raining a little too much for me to take the camera out there to show you. So I'll have to finish that job later this week, maybe tomorrow, uh, depending on how long it takes my, um, me to do my deliveries. I've got water spots all over my glasses. Um, I haven't used the, um, hedge trimmer in a long time and whoo that was doing a number on my hands <laughs> just you know I have carpal tunnel and so a lot of a lot of vibration and um with some of those machines makes it a little painful um all right tomorrow's Wednesday I have deliveries hopefully won't take all day and then I come back here and get some other work done this week hopefully I don't know I have two big two big weddings uh, to do this weekend so I have a lot of prep to do for that which I guess I'll film so I'll show you guys how I do uh, different uh, wedding bouquets and things like that uh, but I need to get the dahlias in the ground so those cuttings we took are doing really well and the uh, the dahlias the tubers that we took the cuts off of have new sprouts on them and so they need to go in the ground so my goal is to flip that tulip bed at the farm um, I've pretty much emptied it but I need to pull the irrigation off of it um, broad fork it maybe <coughs> add bone meal which i always like to add for um dahlias because it helps with root development um, some starter fertilizer a little bit more compost and then plant them and uh, replace the irrigation i think i'm going to run new tubing because i have a whole spool of it and uh, that way i can ensure that uh, it will you know it'll actually deliver water um, so yeah that's hopefully coming up later this week Ah, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I know it's kind of a short video, but I appreciate you being here. I know you have a lot of options on YouTube, so I really appreciate when you stop in and say hi. Thanks again, and I hope you have a wonderful time in your garden, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.